Hello everyone! It's here! It's finally here! The Trails Through Daybreak 2 release date announcement! Trailer. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. What was what, what, it gonna be? Is, is it gonna be- how early are we talking? Is it gonna be like January, February? I did- I did speculate. What if it would be March 7th? Because I, I, just, I thought it was funny. Let's see what in what the interns at Nisa <laughs> decided to show off in this trailer. And before we get into things, if you could, please hit that like button. It's a very simple action, but it really does help me out so much. Thank you. And let's go. I have a personal ah. stake in this. A dear friend. Of Hello, Elaine. Elaine, jump scare. Ooh. I won't let Ooh. him be hit with a false charge. Ooh, false charge. The coward's capital city is spec up here. It is unalive. Killed. I'm not gonna say unalive. Oh, sweet and Nadia. You said you're hiring assistants, right? Shizuna and Kasim are fighting, bruh. Wait, 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 wait. What is Celis? Hello. What is what? What is Mer say? Something the Grendel's online. Oh, does she does she say devour them all? The Grendel's online is that what she says? You know, hey, I kind of like that actually. Oh, you're Celis. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, playable Celis and Leon. Niflheim. Oh, and yes. Hmm. Oh. Mr. I can control bullets with my mind. February. <laughs> Hold up. Wait. February 14th? Surprise, motherfucker. Watch your profanity. Right, I'm sorry. Wait. That's literally that's literally Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, hey, yeah. Most Trails fans. <laughs> this game is going to be our Valentine. <laughs> oh gosh. Bruh. Ugh. Now I have a dilemma. Because it's like, I did start... I, I'm currently in... Okay, well, I, I probably shouldn't say too much regarding the structure of the game. But I'm, I'm a decent ways into the beginning of the game myself, as far as my current playthrough. That I have on going on the channel that is on a hiatus right now. Because I currently play East 2 and Ray Nottis, and I can't, unfortunately, juggle three games at once, especially with the amount of editing that I do. <laughs> that is just not possible. But, once I do finish one of those two games, should I go back and just keep playing through Kuro 2? Because, I mean, that's like, that's, that's only four months. I mean, yeah, it's like, do I wait to just play the English version of this game, or do I just keep pushing through the Japanese version? I, I'm I'm not sure. I'll have to ponder that for a bit and just, just let it simmer. I guess depending on whenever I finish one of those two games, like if I finish one of them this month, then yeah, I probably would jump back into it. But if it takes me like another month from now to beat one of them for you know some reason just in case unforeseen circumstances happen then i might i might just hold off but in that case what would replace it or what would i even do in the interim i i don't know i mean there's plenty of other games i could play <laughs> but I, I would feel bad for starting that game and then having such long breaks between releases of, of videos and stuff and then just eventually dropping it, so I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what your thoughts are on that matter. And how excited are you guys? Me personally, from the little bit that I've played, I have massively enjoyed my experience so far. I have only gotten to, like, the halfway point of Act 1. So that's not very far into the game. And I know that there's all the talk of you know, the infamous Act 3 that people bring up, that it's kind of like that's the act that like kills everybody's motivation and drive to continue playing it, because I guess I'm just assuming it's just super fillery. 
Because I do know that Kuro 2 was created to act as sort of a bridge game between Daybreak and Kai. It is unfortunately, in every sense of the word, a filler game. Now I do know that there is some stuff at the end that obviously is very important, and that does connect to the overall lore of, of the series, but it was unfortunately a game that was rushed out to meet sort of deadlines, so to speak. I, because I don't think they had an East game planned for that year, so I think to make up for that, they just kind of shoved out another Trails game. It's been a while, so I'm a little fuzzy on the, the specific details, but yeah. If some of you guys were a bit meh or iffy on the, the action gameplay of Daybreak, it feels a lot better in this game. It feels a lot smoother. They've added all kinds of extra mechanics for the field battles. There's more more new mechanics. Well, I say new. New in quotations. Because they're, they're new to this game, but they're kind of just reiterations of older mechanics that have been in previous games. I don't want to give away too much. But they added a lot of really cool stuff that just makes the gameplay a lot more fun and fluid. Which is great. And from the stuff that I've seen with Kai, they really just heavily polished it in that game, too. So there's even more to look forward to. <sighs> I can't believe we're getting it this soon. I just don't know if we will ever get to a point where we will get worldwide releases of Trails games. I know that Falcon did hand the script over to Nisa earlier than usual in order to work on this game. And that's why the turnaround was as quick as it was. So, who knows? Maybe they're working on Kai as we speak. Maybe they've been working on Kai for a while. I guess the only thing we can do is wait and see if that fabled 2025 massive cope for Kai ends up becoming true or not. If, if the Trails fans end up manifesting that little miracle. Eh? And okay, that's enough for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you could, leave a like on the video as you head out. And hey, if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Trail content is like my bread and butter. Hit that button. Don't be afraid. And of course, a very special thank you to all my current channel members and supporters over on Patreon. If anybody else is feeling extra generous and wants to support the channel, you get access to all kinds of extra goodies and benefits. Feel free to check out any of the links below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Peace out! Alright, what's next?